Lisbon. We just can't get enough of this place. For us, this is the best city on the planet. Maybe it's the food, maybe it's the architecture, the sunny weather, or the friendly people. Lisbon is a special city located in a special country that we have been obsessed with since 2017. And we aren't alone with this obsession. Today, Portugal is the hottest travel destination in Europe. And even more so for Americans looking for new and greener pastures. In 2021, the number of Americans living in Portugal rose with 45%. This is particularly related to the fact that many Americans in the US are simply struggling to make ends meet. That's why it now makes sense to seek elsewhere. And in Portugal, everything is a lot more affordable, right from grocery shopping to purchasing a home. In this video, we will show you what money buys you in the current real estate market of Lisbon. We are gonna show you five apartments and one villa all with different price tags. Along this journey, we have Maria, who is our personal real estate shopper. She works for the international real estate company JLL, which has been our go-to platform ever since renting our first apartment with them back in 2018. You are like kind of American, but actually German. I am officially German, and that's what my parents would like me to say, probably, but I lived in the US for 26 years, so I feel pretty American. She actually contacted us because she used to follow our YouTube channel, and our first apartment in Lisbon, we rented via JLL. So we were like, this is a match made in heaven. So you're gonna show us all the best apartments that are currently available in Lisbon right now? Absolutely. Interestingly, Lisbon and Portugal weren't on the international map until the mid-2010s, where people finally opened their eyes to this wonderful corner of Europe. Suddenly, Portugal saw an influx of foreigners, which created this unprecedented real estate boom, which still has no end in sight. The main reason is a consistent low supply of homes due to a relentlessly high demand, especially here in the the age of remote working and the location independent way of life, the sunny and affordable aspects of Portugal have been a driving factor. Why would we sit through dark winters in Denmark when we can pay two dollars for a pint of beer and wear shorts early January in Portugal? It's 3.30 and 3 degrees, this is why we left Denmark. So even though a lot of these listings they sell like hotcakes, we have uh, Maria's email right here and you can send her an email and ask her about any listings and other listings that are on JLL's website. And if they're gone, there, there are many others that I can um, show you that we can talk about. Um, I love to understand what it is that your objective is. Are you moving here? Are you looking for a vacation home? Okay. I can connect you with the tax advisor, the immigration lawyer, the mortgage broker. One stop shop right here. Okay. We like to help. The first apartment is located in the very heart of Lisbon in the charming neighborhood of Lapa. This is such an amazing location. What makes Lapa special is not just the location with the Estrella Cathedral and Garden right next door. It's the feeling you get when you walk the streets. This is the Lisbon we fell in love with, but here you don't have tourists. This apartment is priced at 760,000 euros. We are right now in one of our favorite neighborhoods in Lisbon. We actually wanted to move to this neighborhood if we hadn't moved to Madeira. And this apartment is also one of the apartments that would be very relevant for us because you get a lot of housing for the money here. We are in a 153 square meter apartment, three rooms and one studio. The interesting thing is that the studio is actually inhabitable. So they're renting it out right now, long term, for 450 euro. So that's a nice little extra income. And it's around 20 square meters. So this apartment is 132. First of all, when we walked inside this apartment, we got everything that we actually like in an apartment. Because you have this old building with all these very beautiful features, as the molding and the fringe doors. And then you also have this beautiful room that just, you don't find these rooms in many apartments, right? My favorite thing though in this apartment so far is the fact that you have windows everywhere. You have such a nice light flow. It's even light now on a dark, cloudy day and uh, I'm wearing shorts. The current owner has made this into like a really cute TV room, which I kind of love. And then now we have this long classical Lisbon hallway. I love these hallways. And they have designed it in such a way that you get light inside all of the rooms because there are windows. Here we have a nice window, connects to all the other windows in the house. It's like a chimney of light. <laughs> Beautiful. One of the great things about this house is that the rooms are actually all pretty big. They're spacious. This right here was probably meant as the master bedroom and I love this room very much. This could be our master bedroom, Ayla. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> then we could finally get some space here. I would probably make a glass door here. 
And then I would tear out these two cabinets so I would have another shower and toilet here. On the other side here there is a second toilet and yes. a shower. And a shower. But let's take you to the actual bathroom. Come. This cute bathroom doesn't get more Portuguese than it is because this is like the very traditional Portuguese stone to use. And then you can see behind, you can see the you other bathroom. You can see the next bathroom on you the other side. You could turn it into one huge luxury bathroom, Amelia. Yeah, you could. This apartment is pretty uh, unique because the price makes it cheaper than the average. Like you get a lot of square meters and that is because that the kitchen, the bathrooms, they could need an upgrade. I guess you could remove the walk-in closet and make it into like a young teenager room. I would just open it up and then have like an open closet. And guys, for European standards, this is a big kitchen. You rarely get kitchens that are this big in these old-fashioned apartments because back in the days here in Europe, the kitchen, they took up probably this amount of space. You know, I would actually want to make my drawings of how to change this room because it has so much potential. Show them. Look at this. This is a room I talked about, guys, when I said we could make it into like a laundry. You can change up the floor plan here quite a lot. So right now you have the shower, it's very basic and stuff, but you could make this super cute. I can totally imagine like this nice Lisbon summer day, friends sitting here with wine on the staircase and morning coffee. This is a typical Lisbon backyard. And very importantly, no barking dogs whatsoever. We are used to barking dogs where we live now. <laughs> This is so quiet right here. Is this a rare uh, listing or do you have a lot of this? This apartment being in Lapa in particular, which is an area where you have embassies and really beautiful high-end restaurants, it's super rare to find something at this price point. Um, for me personally, and this is a matter of taste, you know, some people are looking for something super contemporary and sleek, but what makes this unit stand out is that you actually do get some of the traditional details in a more traditional building, but yeah. it is well maintained and it's still spacious and bright. There is strong demand from the local market. So while you keep hearing in the news that all the foreigners are moving here, and yes, they are, there's still a huge demand from the Portuguese. But I mean, we also have to show them uh, more um, new apartments. Yes, we can mix it up. Do you want to see something really new? Let's go. We're heading to uh, an apartment in Amureiras and the apartment is a duplex. The location here is excellent since it's right on the border to Principriel, which means everything is within walking distance. The building is brand new right next to a classic Lisbon palace. A pretty cool contrast. The apartment is 117 square meter, two bedroom, three bathroom beauty with two outdoor areas. It's like the ultimate Lisbon getaway apartment. We don't need this anymore because the sun is back and this place is shiny. You know, everything is new and I think it's the same developer as our apartment we rented the day we moved to Lisbon. What do you think about this place? I think it's in a stunning location. Um, if you look at the outside of the building, it's just such a statement, but it has space around, it has green space. And when you're in here, um, you have all sorts of options in terms of outdoor and you have really clean finishes, super wide open spaces. Is this white fridge enough for the white fridge American? Ooh, I don't know, let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> this is the main room. Upstairs you have two small rooms. Personally, I think this is a pretty decent kitchen. I would probably install like a little kitchen island here and then have my dining setting over here. We have friends that live here. This is like the local area. Portuguese people live here. Absolutely. Great restaurants, great shopping, a beautiful park nearby. This is the entertainment bathroom, by the way. <laughs> this honestly is amazing because Lisbon gets pretty hot in the summer. So to be out here in the shade and cool down and have some cocktails with friends or read a book, it's perfect. You could have a little dinner party out here. Again, look, here you have another space with beautiful artwork. We're gonna show the master ensuite first. You have a spacious bathroom with a huge shower. It's actually very big. And the reason why we're using this flash here is because... It's, it's so new that they haven't installed the light. Yeah. <laughs> Connecting to the bathroom is the actual and sweet room with your own private balcony. In our first apartment in Lisbon, we had this kind of uh, material. I think it's the same brand. You could put like a king-size bed here. Yeah, that's what it's intended for. That's why you have the power outlets. And then you have a little outdoor Morning room here. here. 
you could have a classic Amelia and your own breakfast out here. And then again, you look out of this cute local Lisbon neighborhood here. Yeah, it's nice. If you look up there, you actually have central AC and heating in this apartment, which is something you rarely find. Is that the walkthrough closet? It's a walkthrough closet. Oh, yeah, I hate when you have to open the door outwards because you drip all the water out. Oh my the God, here. really? Now you have used their brain. Perfect. So you put the bed this way? Yes. And then you have a little space to walk around. I would personally use this for our office because we don't have kids. So yeah. we are easy, right? And our guests, they can book a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I just think this is quality over quantities. Quality of the finishes, the fact you do have that AC and you have the parking and you're in a really, really prime location. That's really what makes this the ideal package at a great price point. But um, cash guys tomorrow. Cash cash tomorrow. We got a big, big, a big villa, right? Huge villa, rooftop pool and everything. But first we have two more luxury apartments here in the center of Lisbon. You know, the center where you are constantly exposed to dangerously good restaurants that are constantly a threat to your bank balance. Lisbon has truly become an international hotspot for epic gastronomy with so many cool restaurants. The second we stepped inside this apartment, we fell in love. Are we ready, Amelia? Oh my god. Although we are not currently in the market for Lisbon home, this one ticks all the boxes. Located right next to the botanical garden, you are in the best part of Principriel. With its own palatial entrance and garden, it's everything you can ask for, especially since it's a spacious 110 square meter, two bedroom, two bathroom corner apartment. At 675,000 euros, you get a lot of bang for your buck, but let's just show you. We are literally in our dream apartment here in Lisbon. We have two stories here. And we have a patio with lots of greenery. This is super cute. This right here is super rare to find in Lisbon. You have a pretty big patio right here. You could probably see like a lot of friends out here. You could have a couch area and you can pick up some oranges from your own private orange tree. This isn't a dream. I don't know what your dream is. And although this isn't really the apartment, we're gonna start with some of the extra features because this will right be your here, bedroom, Amelia. That's very cute. You could actually make this into a guest bedroom or an atelier, an office, a studio, whatever you fancy. Even before me and Amelia saw the actual apartment, we were like, "This is our apartment. We have to get this." But I mean, I've never seen the combination of a small apartment with this size of outdoor living and just all the creative things you can do here. I mean, can you imagine the summer we can have here? Your lemon head. It's an orange yawn. Since you have your own private entrance here, you can actually come home to something that seems like a big house. You come in from these doors and then you see this huge hallway. No one in Lisbon has an apartment with this kind of hallway. This Not at this price range. No, this is majestic. I am in love. Let's go to the actual apartment, guys, because we decided to take the private entrance, but there's actually another entrance up here. It is honestly super difficult for me to hide my excitement for this place because you have such a charming building. I mean, look at the ceiling and the paneling and everything. It's rustic, it's old, it's cute. I just wanna move in. I'm not a smoker, but I feel like smoking a cigarette on this balcony. And I will take up drinking again here because that's the vibe you get from this apartment. You just want to live the hedonistic lifestyle. One of the reasons why we're excited about this apartment is because it is a refurbished apartment. But normally here in Lisbon, when you get a new apartment, a refurbished apartment, the facade is the old part and then they tear down all the inside and build it up from scratch. So here you actually get the authenticity because they didn't do it. In here we have a guest room, an office, or just like a little dining space. And honestly, this floor, I think this is the original floor. Amelia, before we show the master bedroom, maybe you should show them the office, your office. <laughs> You're such an idiot. Here we have the kitchen, pretty basic. What's in there? There's a bathroom. A functional bathroom with a shower. Welcome to the master bedroom, guys. This is the big boy. This is the big boy in your period standards because it's not that big, but it's perfect for a nice bed. And then you have out here the master bathroom because this is ensuite. Do you understand how old this apartment is? And yet you have an ensuite toilet. That's crazy. It is actually very, very unusual. And again, 
Throw in a little bit extra and you will have a brand new, very exquisite You could turn this into ultra luxury. No, I already want to do the drawings. I just, I'm ready. This is just an interior room. This is one of the dark rooms. But what you can do here is you can make it into like a wrap around closet and you can have a lot of storage. And I would make it look somehow like this. Remember when I said this apartment had two entrances? This is the second one. Yeah. Because why would you use a shared one when you have your own? Seal it off. <laughs> As a kind of American, is this the European dream for Americans romanticizing about Europe? Or do they all want wide fridges that are wider than a European garage? <laughs> <laughs> we get both. You know, when we talk to American clients here in beautiful Lisbon, um, I would say there's an equal number of people who want to sort of bring their lifestyle with them, meaning the oversized fridge, the open kitchen. So there's an equal number of people who really want to live like the Portuguese do mm. or, or have done for centuries where the spaces are a little smaller and cozier mm. and you have the old wood floors and the old stove. Um, and in the mornings you, you open the windows for fresh air rather than turning on the central AC. And it's just really lovely, especially when you have a garden with an orange tree and yeah. the old uh, traditional azulejo tile. I mean, this is this is an apartment for people that want to spill onto the streets, for the people that want to wake up in the morning and head directly to the farmer's market to get their eggs before cooking here. This is really the urban lifestyle in Lisbon, the European way. The majority of apartments sold in Lisbon are between 400 and 900,000 euros. However, you of course have higher price segments too. Here's a 2.2 million euro luxury apartment located right next to El Corte Inglés. Welcome to this amazing T4 apartment that is located in one of the most prestigeful neighborhoods here in Lisbon. This apartment is located in a condominium that has sauna, gym, parking spots and a security 40. 48 hours a day. So all this is part of the garden. Usually it doesn't rain like this, so uh, imagine a, a sunny summer day. For your period standards, this is a huge living room and you even have a fireplace. It's like one of those. So the highlight of this uh, apartment here is location and the floor plan, right? Yes, the floor plan here is amazing because you can literally close off half of the apartment so that you only have your private area for yourself and then you have like the entertainment area, kitchen, an entertainment bathroom for people to enjoy. Don't use the current interior as a pointer of how you're gonna live in here because everyone has a different style and this apartment does not have our style. So we are already imagining how we could do this differently with different colors on the wall, different lighting, different furniture, different everything. Even today on a rainy day in Lisbon, we have so much light here. You have your cutting glass right over here, Amelia. Yes, so and I mean, I even used Even though the apartment is expensive, one year of living here would be more, more, more. expensive. <laughs> but also the best grocery store in the whole city of Lisbon is in Encolte Inglés. If you want a dragon fruit in mid-December, you can get it. When you walk around the kitchen, you get into the laundry. Here you have laundry, you have a toilet and a shower. Here is your private section and you have four bedrooms in your private section. We are gonna take it to the very end because here you have the master bedroom. One thing I have to show you before we get started with this is in here. You literally have your own sauna a sauna in your private home. This is something you only see in like crypts or American kind of housing. But here in Europe, we don't do this. Toilet that can be closed, which is really nice if you want to stay intimate with your partners. I love the wooden uh, floor here. Here you have your walk-in closet. Pretty decent. Not huge, but pretty decent. We would definitely change this, make it more open. I would open the whole thing up, yeah, yeah definitely. And this bedroom is huge and you have the view to the greenery and to the avenue. It's very cute down here. So we are right next to a busy street and I was like worried that, oh, you can hear the traffic. But this is like that scene from uh, Ace Ventura. Uh... <laughs> Whoever made the windows, good job. This bedroom, in my opinion, is the one with the better lighting. I think we would use it as our office and we would go crazy with like mirrors here that would be like painted beautifully, maybe even the ceiling. Also right over there, there is uh, one of the best restaurants for uh, snails. <laughs> Come on, Amelia. <laughs> this one is almost like a master suite too, because you have this beautiful shower that has a nice hot tub in there. But other than that- It's a jacuzzi. Oh, it is a jacuzzi. That's pretty cool. 
I like that. No, that it's warm. So this is the last room of the apartment. A four bedroom, big, beautiful, spacious apartment with four bathrooms? Six? Wow. But I think that's what makes this apartment special in addition to the location and the amenities. Hanging out by the pool, like Tony Soprano, he would love to live here. It's great! And if you go just 200 meters up that road, you have one of the most stunning views of Lisbon. Look at the view here, guys. Park Eduard, Marques Pompal, Avenida do Liberdade. This is the place to be. You will actually be neighbor with Cristiano Ronaldo. He lives here. With Lisbon's best donut in our hand, we went back to our hotel to digest and relax before an epic dinner. Experiences like these are why people move to Lisbon. Although we live on Madeira, which we consider to be the world's best island, it's hard not to miss life here. Sometimes we do play with the idea of renting an apartment in Lisbon, but the rental market is simply out of control. The rent is too damn high. If we wanted something similar to our Madeira apartment, we need to pay at least six to seven thousand euros a month. That's why buying makes much more sense in today's market. As mentioned earlier, we have a special villa for sale in Qashqais. And although Qashqais is outside of Lisbon city, you can consider it like a suburb where wealthy people live. In fact, Qashqais is ranked as one of Portugal's most expensive residential areas. It's a 25 minute drive or a 30 minute scenic train ride from Caixa Sodré in central Lisbon. This place is popular for many reasons. You are still close to Lisbon, but even closer to nature, the beach, Sintra, golf, and you have tons of restaurants nearby, including this one we just visited. It's luxury living wrapped in nature. We are about to enter the most crazy house here in Qashqais. I am already moving in, in my mind. Oh my God, we're literally next to a golf course here, which is just, allowing it to be like super stunning but well, let's just show you it's much i'm too excited let's let's did you me. have your morning coffee Amelia? i did not have my morning you look, coffee you, you seem a little groggy <laughs> <laughs> i know i know you, you had time for your morning coffee so I maybe did, you'll take it i did have my morning coffee but as a former golf player this location here is just amazing because i love nature i love golf and you are close to both. Look at these windows here. You can swing them and hide them inside the wall. I mean, I have been begging for doors like this for the last decade. Here they are, and you are just blown in your face with nature. This is so high-end all the way through, like the materials. Yeah, you have amazing wooden floors, you have the window effect, you have nice smack kitchen appliance, and then you have hidden AC and heating in the entire house. So you have three big bedrooms and all with outdoor access. It's like almost this house is asking for indoor outdoor living. Can you imagine just sitting here having your breakfast, morning coffee, the one Amelia didn't have, and then you can hear the sound of irons hitting golf balls. And then you also are in a condominium right now where you have gym, you have connoisseurs, you have security, and it's like gated. It's essentially a boutique resort. Yes. Way to put it, Jon. Look at this. Oh, they finally have it? <gasps> Ta da! Oh my god, Amelia, we already have an American buyer. <laughs> now you can move to Europe, Mr. and Mrs. America. You have a very big kitchen here, and again with a door that slides into the wall so you can enjoy the indoor outdoor living. And honestly, we are in Portugal, and most of the year, this is what you need. Like, you want to be inside and outside because it's always kind of warm here, and we don't have as much rain as we have been complaining about in this video. It's actually very good weather here. If you buy this place, you can invite us. We will come. At the entrance, you have the entertainment bathroom, which is super nice with real marble all the way through. Let's continue into bedroom number one. This is not the master. This is just a spare bedroom. But look, notice how there is a window here. There's a window here. Yeah. A lot of marble here. Huge shower. From bedroom number one, we are heading into bedroom number two. Wow. And again, you have the, the blinds that are electric. You have a lot of storage. I didn't show you in the other room, but all rooms have plenty of storage. So the upstairs floor is dedicated to the master bedroom. You have here the walk-through closet. His and her sink, toilet with a glass door. A steam shower if you turn off the heat. But what this room is all about is the outdoor area. Because you wake up here and then you walk out to your own private balcony, which is stunning. And then if you fancy a morning swim, you just take one more plateau and then you can jump straight in your 
cool. Having a view to Sinsra, the most magical place here in Portugal. I mean, this place sells itself. I mean, look at it. What we've seen so far, this is my favorite, although it's hard to compare all of it, but especially Americans are into this place. And it's not only the fridge that's the reason for that. <laughs> the fridge is number one reason. Number two reason is that this entire condominium is actually also golden visa eligible. So for those of you who, who want to or need to pursue the golden visa, this is a really great spot and uh, you can rent it out year round if you choose to. Um, you have some rental yields that you can take in. Everything, I think, as you already pointed out, is fully furnished, so no headaches whatsoever. Everything but four units, actually five units as of today, I can't wow. count five, is sold at the moment. And this is the 3.1 million euro price point. <sighs> it's Nothing. a pocket grab. <laughs> so we ordered an Uber and two minutes later it's here. We Ubered back to the heart of Lisbon to see the sixth and last home. At this point, me and Amelia had gotten a nice and fresh look at the real estate market of Lisbon. There's no doubt that prices have gone up over the last five years, but that's the case everywhere around the world. Compared to real estate in metropolitan cities in the US, Lisbon is still very affordable, especially when you combine it with reasonable cost of living. And of course, it's not all Americans who buy homes inside Lisbon. Outside Lisbon, you can get decent houses at around 300,000 euros, but we will save that for another video. We are in here, Misericordia, one of our favorite neighborhoods. Bike walls are right there. This is Lisbon. This is a T2, 74 square meters apartment at 580,000 euros. And it has two outdoor areas. The apartment is located in an old building from 1856, but it has been completely refurbished. How about this area? Outdoor area, coffee, lounging, guest over. This is the living slash dining room where you also have your kitchen. It's not a huge apartment, but it's perfect for a single couple or maybe even as a getaway place. At 580,000 euros, you don't really get a better price if you want kind of a lot space, amazing location. location, and then everything is new. You have two bedrooms here. This is the first one. One out of two bedrooms. And out here you actually have space for your washer as well. Washer dryer combo thing yeah. here. This is the second bedroom. So what it's is the going master to, bedroom. This, yeah, so what is going to happen here that they haven't done yet is that they're gonna put a wall all the way over here and in here. So this is the upstairs apartment, identical, and this is what they did with the wall. But I would kind of prefer this room without the wall. Me too. This is one of the typical high-end Lisbon projects that are affordable. And I just love like you spill onto the street of Lisbon. You know, the Lisbon you fall in love with when you move here. Why should people go to JLL? and not just Idealista, which is like an aggregator for all the, the real estate listings. Actually, JLL listings can also be found on Idealista, but let us take the work off your hands. If you reach out directly and let me know what you're looking for, where you're looking, what your budget is, what your timeline is, if you need a golden visa, then I can narrow it down. The other pitfall with Idealista, unfortunately, is that you're gonna find a lot of listings that are no longer active. Mm. Not speaking for JLL, but there's just a lot on there and you might just spend a lot of time chasing things that are actually no longer available. There are a lot of uh, people who are not so well intended. So finding realtors that you can trust is also a pretty big deal um, in, in Portugal, unfortunately. Hug it's it out. Hug it out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for helping. We're actually building our dream house here in Madeira where we live. It's an amazing island with wonderful weather year round. If you'd like to follow our project, watch this video. And we have a big house update coming later this month. <laughs>